Welcome to this edition of Prophecy in the Spotlight with your hosts, Evangelist Dan Goodwin and Dr. Charles Hiltabittle, a listener supported program sponsored by Prophecy in the Spotlight, a ministry where we shine the light on current events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. You can find us at prophecyinthespotlight.com. Now, here is Dan Goodwin with today's program. Hey, welcome everybody. I want to read a verse to you. This is Prophecy in the Spotlight. I'm Brother Dan Goodwin and uh, Dr. Charles Hiltabittle here with me on the, on the program. We're going to talk about timelines in today's show, but I want to read, start out with a verse and I'm going to have Doc uh, read a verse here in a minute. Uh, in Revelation chapter 10 and verse 6, he says, and, uh, and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things uh, that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things that therein are, uh, and that there should be time no longer. You know, there's coming a, a day when time's going to end. Mm-hmm. And uh, that day is going to be after the kingdom age is over, yes. after the 7,000th year. Um, Doc, we want, we want to help people understand some timelines here. Yes. Because there's a lot of confusion out there. There's what we call Old Testament time. Mm-hmm. There's New Testament or church age time. And, uh, and there's also kingdom age yes. time. Millennial and, reign yep. of Christ. Yes. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to help people understand uh, this, this timeline. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the chart there. If you're listening via the radio, obviously you cannot see it. But we're going to explain it to you. So, Doc, why don't you read the verse that you have yes. for us? <clears throat> Isaiah 46 and verse 9 gives us who we're talking about here. It said, Remember the former things of old, for I am God. And there is none else. I'm God, and there's none like me. Then he explains why that's so, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all of my pleasure. Yeah. Yes. I love that passage. I tell people all the time if you want to know how this ends, you know, the rapture and all that. If you want to know how the world ends, go back to the beginning. Yes. It's all right there in them first two chapters. Because he lined it out for us. Now that tells me this, Doc. And now, first of all, let's hope, make sure people understand. When the very first phrase of the Bible, the very mm-hmm. first verse, the very first few words mm-hmm. says, In the beginning, God. But that doesn't mean the beginning of God. That's it right. Means that God does this in the beginning of time. So when he says in the beginning God created, he's not talking about the heaven where he lives. No. He's talking about our universe. The and universe in which we now live. Our earth, uh, the, the sky, the star, stars, and beyond the stars. The constellations of stars. Yeah. Yes. And where's that all end out there, Doc? Have you ever been out there to see well, where? No, is there a nobody, wall? Nobody has. They think it might be 30 billion light years across. But. Now, what would be harder to understand? That there's a wall and there's nothing on the other side of the wall? Or that there's no wall and it goes on forever. You right. can't understand either. We can't understand <laughs> it. There are just things that our finite minds can't understand yeah. about the infinite. And and time is another one of those yes. things. We can't understand We can time. learn a lot of things about it, but we, we'll never come to the fullest of understanding. You just can't wrap your brain no. around, you know, Jesus said, I, before Abraham was, I am. I am. am. Yes. In other words, outside of time, there's no I was, there's yes. no I will be. It's it's yeah. It's... That's why when you get to the book of Revelation, he's the one that was, he's the one that is, he's the one that is yet to come. He's the I am. He's ever present. Yeah. So in the beginning, God created. So on day one, God started the clock ticking. Yes. Now that eliminates the gap theory kind of. I guess you could still have a gap theory, believe in a gap theory. And say that this new era is starting with uh, day one. But I, I guess that's what they try to do. I don't know. But time began. When God stepped out of eternity and said, let there be light. So when he says in the beginning, if there's a gap theory, then then Genesis, then first day of creation wasn't the beginning. I guess not. But the Bible is very clear that on the day of beginning, he said, let there be light. And science has discovered that 
it is actually light rays that determine time. Time is measured by light rays. Yeah. So, so let's, time began, yes, when, when God said, let there be light, that's when time began. Yeah. I believe in Josephus, a, a Jewish historian, just after, I think just after the time of Christ, a right. Jewish historian yeah, named Josephus, mm -hmm. he left us some writings and they've, they've interpreted them, mm -hmm. they've translated them into English yes. many years ago. He, he, was a he was a secular historian. Right, right. He was, he was a, a Jew. Jewish. But he was not a saved Jew like, yeah. like uh, he, wasn't, he right. wasn't a believer. But he wrote history. And he, mm -hmm. and he believed and taught that creation began on Sunday night, Tishri 1. In other first words, Feast of, of the Trumpets. Week. Yes. Right. Because Sunday's the first day. Now, we know it was the first day because mm -hmm. God rested on the seventh day. We would probably call it Saturday night. But anyway, because yep. the evening is yep. the beginning. Saturday night at, at 6 p.m. would be mm -hmm. the seventh day. Yep. Be, could be evening in the morning. Yep. Evening begins at yep. sundown. Yep. And that's true even today yes. in Israel. Still today in Israel. And, uh, so he believed Tishri 1 was the beginning. Now, here's what we, we have to understand. If, the, if it's going to be a, if it's going to be a 7,000 year earth, like I believe it is, mm -hmm. it has to end where it began. <laughs> There's no right. way to get 7,000 years. Yeah. In other words, it's, the starting point has to be the ending point. You have to go full it, circle. It, if we serve a God that does everything in order and on purpose, He's got a time set for the end of time just as He yeah. began it. So that it, it would make sense, it would make perfect sense that the rapture would be on the same day as creation. It's possible. And the Jews, the Jews believe creation was on Tishri mm -hmm. 1 yeah. at sundown. Well, actually, it was, it, that was and the beginning. We're not, and we're not setting a date because nobody knows the exact calendar date. Right. And we don't, we don't even know what year this is. No, we it's, don't know what year we it is. We know what exactly. year it's not. This is not 2022. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> we, we go by that uh, Gregorian calendar, some yeah. Julian calendar, whatever you want to call well, remember, it. Remember, they, they started the New Testament or the church. They started this New Testament calendar at the birth of Christ. Instead of the resurrection yeah. or the crucifixion. New Testament uh, doesn't start at the birth. It <clears throat> starts at his death. Yeah. Because you know, New Testament time... Uh, because Hebrews, New Testament can only come into force with the death of the testator. Right, Daniel, uh, testator. Hebrews 9, the death yes. of the testator. Mm -hmm. In other words, a testator, a, a guy who writes a will, it, that will is, is of no value until to the children until you're knocked, till they knock you off. That's dog. right. And that's it. That's when, when you die, then your yep. will is opened. And, uh, yep. yeah, same thing with Christ in the New right. Testament here. So um, we, you and I believe... And we put some charts up. Um, she'll put that up. I know you can't see that on the radio if you're listening via the radio. <coughs> we want to invite you to find our YouTube channel if you're listening by radio. Go to our website, prophecyinthespotlight.com. Everything is there. Our Facebook page is there. Everything is Prophecy in the Spotlight. There's a website or, or there's a Facebook page there. We have a podcast. We have a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is very important. A lot of people watch our YouTube channel, so uh, it's right there, Prophecy in the Spotlight, and uh, and you you can you can find these there. This is show number ninety three that, uh, that we actually uh, did a whole half hour TV program. So um, in the chart there that the folks can't see, there are four thousand years in the Old Testament. That's the wrong one, Mr. Goodman. That's the second one, and uh, it's hard to get good help sometimes. But anyway. There you go. Um, 4,000 years in the Old Testament. There's, and then the cross. Mm -hmm. 2,000 years in the New Testament, or I, call right. it the, I like to call it the church age. The New Testament, the church age. And then there's the 1,000-year kingdom age that's coming, which is... It's coming, is yes. When Christ rules, he comes right. on the white horse, he's going to rule from Jerusalem. But the 6,000 altogether covers human rule of the earth. Yeah. And the seventh thousand is Christ ruling the yeah. earth. Yes. And and we're gonna we're gonna be here for that. It's gonna be a diff, much different time. Much different world and a much different time. We'll be in a much different body. Yeah, yeah. Now there'll be of course still we're not doing a show on the kingdom age, but there'll be people that are still in their oh, natural yes, body. Oh yeah, still people that will in come their natural the Adamic body. Children will still be born during that period of time. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there'll be glorified body people and and we'll be able to, and we'll be going back and forth between our new heavenly, our, our new heaven bo uh, home in heaven okay. and heaven, or the celestial city. Yes. All right. So let's let's show that, that that second chart. And I know on the radio you can't see this, but there's there's something that changes here that's not as quite as easy to understand, but. The tribulation is seven years long. Where does that piece of time well, go? Well, it's Old Testament economy because it's the last seven years or the last week of Daniel's yep. prophecy in Daniel chapter and, 9. And Daniel said, of course it was God that said it, but 70 weeks are determined, determined. upon thy people and thy holy city. Mm -hmm. In other words, all 70 of those weeks yeah. are Old Testament. That ought to help folks who think of a replacement theology know they're wrong because... God's going to finish what He started with the same people and their same geography. Yep. And 483 years was there with Israel. And this last seven will be with Israel yep. and their land. So that tribulation period has to be counted on the Old Testament clock. So what I did in the second chart, I, and, uh, what I'm saying is that from, from creation in Genesis 1, to the end of, to the beginning of the, uh, the, the church age, mm -hmm. the New Testament clock, yes. Is 3993, 3,993 seven, years. Seven years short of the yep. exact 4,000. Yes. And the church age will tick on for 2,000 years. We're getting close to the mm -hmm. end of that now, um, depending on where it started. Yep. Nobody really knows. But uh, we're close to when, when that 2,000th year ends. When the rapture takes place. The clock will stop for yeah. us, and the clock will begin ticking right where it left off in mm -hmm. 3993. I don't think, you don't, you don't think God's going to miss a minute? No, not even oh. a second. Oh. I believe it stopped with Steve. You, know, that's, you think we serve such an awesome God? Yeah. Amen. And, and so that seven years finishes off the Old Testament, and when it's over, when the tribulation ends with Christ yeah. coming on the white horse, it will be exactly the 4,000th year yeah. of the Old Testament, a perfect 6,000 years counting the church age. Christ comes on the white horse, goes into the... And a perfect 1,000 years to follow. Yep. And, uh, and a perfect God that we get to serve. Oh, my. <laughs> it's awesome. And uh, it's going to be amazing. So, um, all right, you can take that off, Mr. Goodwin. Well, folks, uh, if you're listening via radio, I would encourage you once again, go to our YouTube channel. You'll get to see the two charts that I just put up that the YouTube folks just got to see just now. And um, I think there'll be a tremendous help. Doc, you told me that when you travel a lot, you're getting a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions. About this yes. very thing. People yes. are confused. Nearly everywhere I go, I'll get one, sometimes more than one peop, person come to the book table. Or if a church is having question and answer time, this will be a question that comes up. And you mentioned that uh, some people were asking you, is it, is it really a 6,000 yeah. years? I mean, are you sure? And yeah. Now, we got a couple other passages we could share. We got a couple yes. minutes here. Yeah. Uh, we got two passages we could share. Well, the one out of Matthew 17 that you always use, and then the one out of Hosea 6. And Hosea, he said, concerning Israel, he said, after two days, he said, I'm going to raise you up, and then on the third day, I'm going to reign with you. So the two days is the two days years, is the church uh, age. It's while they've been in dysphoria, and now God, at the end of this, he's brought. He's brought Israel back into their land. What for? Getting ready to finish that 70th yeah. week. And of course, Matthew 17, after six days, he taketh Peter, James, and after John. After six oh, days. There's the rapture. Yeah. 6,000 years, the rapture. Right. Bring Moses, right. Elijah come down, the two witnesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the Bible is just an amazing book. Don't it I? is an amazing book. Yes. And uh, well, we're about out of time. Because we serve an amazing God. Yeah. And uh, speaking of time, we're about out of time yes. here. Amen. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the show, folks. Don't forget uh, uh, the website, prostinetspotlight.com. And uh, we enjoy coming into your living room or your automobile, wherever you listen to the program. We hope you'll tell others about it and that you'll listen again next time. And uh, I hope this, uh, these charts, I hope this teaching about time will be a help to you. But until next time, keep your eyes on them skies. Thank you for listening to Prophecy in the Spotlight, a listener-supported program sponsored by Prophecy in the Spotlight Ministries. Go to prophecyinthespotlight.com to view all of our shows and materials and to support this program. It is our sincere prayer that 
today's program has helped you to be ready for the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen again next week at this same time.